Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a number tutorial on this type of card layout. I am outside recording this, so I did want to say I'm sorry about the background, background noise. I'll have a few upcoming tutorials that the audio is going to kind of suck, but this, these should be the last few. So we're just going to go ahead and get started, and the parts that are unclear, I will explain them. This is a gallery element, and then it's a picture, and I use the captions. The picture is in the Google Docs. It's just hard to see because it's like a white on white background, but it's there. You just might have to click around to like actually find it, but it's there. <laughs>
I'm going to really quickly try and explain the horizontal scroll. You're not going to be able to just, you're, oh my gosh, you're not going to be able to scroll until you publish the card. So like, see, like I can scroll, but then obviously like if I published the card, I would be able to scroll here. It's a little confusing, but basically all of the, all of this, it's like, spacer so it's like filler because all the texts have to be touching otherwise the scroll won't happen and it'll space out like a normal container but obviously you don't you wouldn't be able to read it if everything was squished together so that's why like the dots are transparent so you can't actually see them but it's really important to not delete those otherwise it will just turn into a regular container so like everywhere where there's info you can just add info like after the last transparent dot it's okay and you can like add the info and it can be spaced out but everything like this section you just need to leave it as it is and obviously if you want you can change like like before if you don't want it to be before you follow and then like the little infos here but just make sure that it's one word and not spaced out or if you do want to space it out just add another of the transparent dots Hopefully that makes sense. I put all the like texts in the Google Docs to kind of serve as a template. And also if like you mess up and you can't get it back to scroll, just copy and paste the text again and start over. It, it's a little trial and error, but eventually it'll look good. And like you can see here, like I've put an extra space there on accident, but yeah, you just have to mess around with it until it works. It was very confusing for me when I first um, just, like discovered how to actually do it.
Alrighty, and here is the final product. I'm sorry if parts of this were a little unclear. I, I referred to the Google Doc more than I normally do, but this is a card that's very different from a lot of tutorials I've done, like with the, I'm still not used to the horizontal scroll and like so many elements having so many like hover animations and like enter flip in animations and whatnot but if you need any help if you're confused by anything just let me know um i really appreciate all the support i've been getting recently uh so as usual thank you guys so so much for watching and of course i will see you all in the next one bye bye